Hello guys and welcome back or welcome here if you are new. My name is Amy. So I am happy to report that I am now feeling so much better. Man, last week was rough, not gonna lie. But I've definitely turned a corner and I'm feeling so much better and I wanted to go ahead and get back to posting a few videos before I start school Monday the 10th. So yes. So I have a couple more videos coming your way. I wanted to get these out a little bit sooner, but hey. We all know sometimes life gets in the way. So today's video is a little bit different as far as booktube is concerned. As you see by the title of this video, I'm showing you guys what I got for Christmas. It's so funny because I love watching these videos. I mean, there's some really cool things out there I've never heard of or never seen, and I love to get new ideas. Like for instance, there's a channel that I watch called The Sandra Pages, and one of the things she got was an embosser for her books like a personal like stamp it's really cool and she got some other fun things but I love watching these types of videos just to get ideas and just like I said see all the cool things that are out there it's funny because it never fails every single one of these videos starts out by saying you know I'm not here trying to brag definitely not about bragging it's just sharing some things that people wanted to get for us you know I see all these things as little blessings you know blessings come in a lot of different ways I mean it can be a smile or a wave from a stranger or a word from somebody but it can also come in the form of gifts so I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what a newly 40 year old woman gets who is a art education major for Christmas I don't know I just thought that was kind of neat so yeah I thought I would just show you what I got so let's go ahead and get into it a couple things I got from my husband we normally don't do anything too extravagant Especially number one, you know, I felt bad even getting anything because, you know, I'm going back to school and my husband supports me and we're spending our, you know, hard-earned money on this. So I'm like, you don't have to give me anything. You're, you know, I'm already going back to school. And, um, but he still did. So one thing he got me was this really cute wristlet. I was needing a new wristlet. I have one because I take it to class with me because my purse is like a backpack purse. So... I can't take that because I carry a backpack to school. But I still wanted something to put, you know, like my IDs in, my keys, my mask, my sanitizer, like my phone, that sort of thing. Because my backpack is like full to the brim. So I do have another wristlet, but it's too small. My phone does not fit. I have the, the Note Ultra 21, and so it's large. So, but with this one fits very well with plenty of room left over. So I was very thankful for that. And then he got me a nice robe. Oh, it's so nice. It's so plush and so comfortable. So just a nice robe to get all, you know, cozied up in. And then he got me, he always gets me in my stocking like a lipstick and then, you know, some fun like little candies. So that's what I got from him. Very sweet. And then of course I got him some nice things as well. Also, we did a couple gift this year and it was a, it was like a tumbler set. It was a pack, it had a tumbler, and then it had like um, a big water bottle with two straws. So it was a nice set from Academy, very nice. But yes, now I'll show you what I got from my immediate family. Oh, one other thing I'll show you, this is from my aunt. She painted this for me. This is so beautiful. She knows I love fall and she painted me this beautiful picture so nice so i'm pretty sure she will watch this video so thank you again aunt brenda i love it all right now let me show you what i got so i just noticed that my camera battery is not charged so i will have to do two parts to this video so i may look a little bit different when i come back but i'll just keep going as long as i can so here we go i'll just start showing you things so my mom bought me these really cute antique ornaments and they have teddy bears on them they're so cute so I thought those were really pretty, really fun. I'm gonna save these for next year. And then my dad got me and Joe an ornament with an S for our last name. I thought that was very pretty. One of the most meaningful gifts I got this year was from my dad and he got all of us kids some pictures made from like our family history. So he started this, I believe he started this last year. He made us an album and put a few pictures in there but this year he got some more developed and so we all got like the same ones. And so this is a picture of my late grandfather. 
And then in here is just some more family pictures. And we were going through these on Christmas Day, me, my sister, my brother, and all of us there. And it was just bringing back so many memories. Oh my goodness, this is so hilarious. Right here. This is me, my brother, my sister, and then my late grandparents. Those were my dad's grandparents, my dad's parents. So this was in Georgia. I mentioned this before on my channel. My dad lives in Georgia, and that's where he's from. That's where his family roots are. And so we used to go there every holiday, every Christmas, and spend with them. So it was a lot of fun. Great memories. But there's just all kind of pictures in here. There's us as kids um, down fishing at their pond and, you know, just all kind of treasures. And these are the kind of gifts that just mean everything. Love it. I can't wait to add these to the album. I'm just going to show you what I have, like, closest to me. So my mom also got me, she got me some very practical gifts because that's really what I needed. So she got me some ink for my printer for school, so a pack of the color, and then I got some black ink. I went through several inks last semester, so I'm really happy that I got these. Then my sister, she got me this adorable planner. It's so cute with the polka dots. It's This is fancy. I didn't know I was going to get something this fancy. The Kate Spade Pin Dot 12 Month Planner. So very cute. I love how it closes up like this with the little rope handle that's so cute but you open it up and you guys i got stickers so there's stickers in the front there's also words you know like meeting um long weekend birthday there's just all kind of things and then with the stickers so i love that and then you have like the full calendar here and then you have like the tabs over here in the corner so along with that, she got me the matching pins. I was like, are you serious? I thought that was very sweet. Look at these. So this will be perfect for me to plan out things for school and just life in general because it's definitely about to get a lot more busy for me. She also got me two new pair of tennis shoes for school. So I thought that was so sweet and thoughtful. She got me this white pair. This is the Time and True brand from Walmart. These are my favorite little sneakers. They are so comfortable. So she got me the white pair. And then she got me this really cute denim looking pair. They're so easy just to put on for a school, like for class. Just so simple and so comfortable. So I thought that was really sweet of her to get me two pairs of shoes. And then she also got me some hand soap, um, a candle, and wallflowers from Bath & Body Works because I love all that stuff. And then finally, she got me this cute wall plug-in. I thought this was so thoughtful because she knows I'm going to school to be a teacher. And so look at this apple wallflower. Isn't that really cute? So I think I'm going to save this. I have like a box of things that I'm saving for when I become a teacher because you know what? Time is moving fast. I'm already a year into school and I'm just like, okay, just a few years left. I'll be done. But it's going to go like this. I know it. All right. And then here we go back to the randomness. My brother got me a set of these little perfumes. I should say him and his fiance. My brother gets married here in just a couple weeks at the end of January. Cannot wait. Oh, here's the candle that my sister got me. I thought I put it away. This is Vanilla Birch. She knows I love plaid. Look at this candle. It's all plaid. Isn't that gorgeous? She knows me too well. And then my brother got me this really cute Ray Dunn candle because again, he knows me too well. And it just says a Merry Christmas with the little elf feet. So I thought that was really nice of him. I love this. And they smell so good. All right. And then my dad also got me this really cute jewelry holder. I could always use one of those. I love like necklaces and earrings and, you know, that sort of thing. So he got me this. It's really cute. And then I got a box of crayons. Hey, it's, it's the future art teacher in me, you know? I just love it. So I got 120 colors. You guys, I was literally so excited when I saw this. My mom got me this. And, oh, it just has all the colors. I mean, all the colors. So this is going to be fun to open up and add to my Crayola collection. You guys, I have a Crayola collection. If I'm able to, I will take a little video clip and then put it here for you guys. But, you know, it's I'm proud of it. I'm not going to lie. And then along with the Crayola crayons that she got me, she got me these um, Crayola washable paint pens. I've already used the paint pens, but they are so fun and they're so pretty. Just more to add to my collection. All right, 
a couple other things here. So my mom, she got me this um, pie server. Isn't this cute? She got this from like a secondhand antique store. Isn't that so cute? So this would be nice to have, a little pie server. And then my brother and Kate got me this really cute crock and it says, our family recipe. It says, two cups of love, a pinch of faith, a dash of hope, a heaping scoop of kindness, a generous cup of patience, sprinkled with joyous laughter, and serve every day. So I thought that was really thoughtful of them. I tried to live by faith and by hope and I try to be kind and patient. I try to be all these things. And so it's really nice when someone kind of recognizes that in you. I'm like, okay, I'm doing something right at least some of the time. <laughs> then my mom got me some more supplies, school supplies. So I got some pens. These are my favorite pens, you guys. This is the Pilot G2 gel pens. Oh my goodness, these are the absolute best. And look at all the fun colors. Love it. And then they also got me the big what is this? Oh, gel velocity pens. So again, more pens. I love all the colors. And then my favorite pencils are the velocity. This is the um, mechanical pencils, but they're the velocity. They're so thick and easy to write with. So I got some more of those. And then I got some white out. Can you tell I'm a student or what? And then my mom also threw in this cute little snowman pen. I thought he was so cute. Perfect for winter. I got these really cute Christmas earrings. They have snowman, um, they say joy, Santa, pearls, Christmas trees, and it looks like some holly berries. I got these from my brother and Kate. And then they also got me some magnets and the Array Done magnets. And they say dream, reach, aspire, strive, pursue, and persevere. So I just love all of those words. I thought these were really cute and I could put these on, on my memo board. So, very inspiring and very cute all at the same time. And then I got this really cute air freshener for my brother and Kate. This is so cute. It looks like a fire. It's just so cozy. It's just something different and unique. So I got that. And then they got me a sketchbook. Again, like, are you guys seeing a theme here? So I love the color green on this sketchbook. It's so pretty and you open it up and it's got more gel pens with the sketch pad and how beautiful is the green and gold. I've already written down ideas of things I want to draw and paint and so I love it. Stuff like this is just so thoughtful. It just really shows that they're paying attention and they know what's going on in my life. So I just love this so much. Hello guys, so it is now a couple days later and I wanted to hop back on here and finish my what I got for Christmas video. Now I did mention to you guys that my camera was going to be dying soon. And so it died and then I got super busy over the weekend. But today is Sunday, January 9th and I've got a little bit of time. So I wanted to go ahead and finish up this video for you guys. So I hope that you have enjoyed it so far seeing what I, what I got for Christmas. Just a few more things left and then we'll be done. So I believe where I left off was a sketch pad that David and Kate got me, my brother and my future sister-in-law. So I figured I will just continue with that. They did get me one more thing and it is a really nice watercolor painting set. So it's from King's Art. It comes with a lot of stuff. So it includes six watercolor paints, three brushes, two 8x10 painting boards for watercolor, two 5x7 watercolor painting boards, one mixing palette, one tabletop easel, one sketching pencil, and one sponge. So you get all of that in this little kit, and so I thought that was really nice. That'll be fun to do, you know, when I can find some downtime to relax. This is going to be a lot of fun. I have some ideas of some paintings that I want to try out and then kind of to go along with this, kind of, sort of, I got to be very careful with this. I had gotten a gift card for my mom to Kohl's. A few days ago we went to Kohl's for something for Joe. Oh, we had to get him new shoes for the wedding on Friday. And they had this, they had a set of 18 different glitters. It was a boxed set for like $10. And so I've been wanting to try adding glitter to some of my paintings just in certain areas just to make it pop a little bit more. So I thought that would be super cute. 
Now I've already taken them out of the box and I bought this little cart at the Target Dollar Spot. Here is just like some of the paints. Like I said, there was 18 in the box. So you have all kind of colors. And then my dad did get me one other thing and it's this really cute Ray Dunn crate and it says etc. And then it just has like this little detail right here. I like that, but it's got the handles, it's got a lot of space. And so that'll be perfect overflow to put all those pens and, and pencils and you know, my school supplies and stuff in. So that is going to be absolutely perfect. I'm telling you what, my family, they really spoiled me this year and it really helps out, you know, when you're a college student at any age. And then just a couple other honorable mentions. A cousin of mine who is down visiting from Ohio, she got me a nice gift bag full of Scentsy goodies. She is a consultant, so she got me like some bath soak, she got me a Scentsy bar, so that was really nice of her. And then one of my good friends, Laura, we've been friends for several years, and um, she got me a really cute snowman mug with some goodies inside, and she also got me my one and only book this year. So this is a historical fiction. I've never heard, I don't know, have I heard of the author? I don't know. I thought it was really sweet of her. She knows how much I like to read. And you guys, the cover is just so pretty. It's just that old, that old fashioned look and it's like a little snow scene. She's like, if anything, I know you'll like it just for the cover. So typically I don't read historical fiction, but you know what, one of my goals this year, and I haven't got to that video yet, but I want to kind of step out of just like the romance, which you know what, that's just, that's just what I like. I like Christian fiction romance. However, I do like to read Christian romance that has a mystery and suspense as well, but I think I want to step out a little bit more, which I already have because I've already started reading Redeeming Love. So that right there is something typically I wouldn't read, kind of like a historical, biblical type fiction. And so I'm already stepping out of the box this year. So yes, that was really sweet of her to get me this book, my one and only book for Christmas. So yep, yeah, that's about it. I'm sure I missed a few things, but that's overall what I got. I feel extremely blessed and so thankful for all of these things. But um, this was just something fun I thought I would do, something different, something fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care guys.